Shake hands, we'll start on the clock. Okay, good luck, both teams. Good luck, team. Trail Conference, it's the Alita Westmore Green Dragons hosting the Elmwood Brimfield Trojans. This is John Hoshan along with Chuck Clawson and down on the sidelines, Bill Breeden, set to bring you action here on week number five. Elmwood Brimfield comes in with a mark of three and one overall. Alita Westmore also with a record of three and one. In the West Prairie Trail Northwest Division, Elmwood Brimfield is a perfect two and oh, while Alita Westmore is one and oh. This will be just their second conference matchup. We are so spoiled to broadcast here at Alito Westmer, where you're high atop the field. The field is marked like a college professional field. And when we go on the road, it's sometimes we are really challenged. So tonight, hopefully a little smoother broadcast. It will be Colton Welch to kick off for Alito Westmer. And back to receive, I believe, or Aaron Watson to the far side and Jeremy Dawson here to the near side as we're set for Friday Night Football here on J102. 
And Welch moves in, hits it. It's a high, short, end-over-end -end kick coming down the field, taking the know it. They let it hit, and then the up-back comes up. Uh, Dawson grabs it, and he is buried. It was almost a, I got it, I got it, I got it, you take it situation. And fortunately, Dawson grabbed it before the Alito team recovered. And they open up with a wide out to the far side and a man in the slot. The quarterback is a Jake Hammond under center with a double wing. He takes a snap and a quick pitch to Dawson. He's hit. He fumbles the ball. It's on the turf. And I think Alita Westmore has recovered. They have recovered. Kyle Pittman picks up the loose ball. And it's Alita Westmore with the ball. First and 10 at the 27 yard line. I'm not sure who got in and hit uh, Dawson. Just to the so out wide to the far side goes Welch here to the near side is Dixon. I formation in the backfield. Now Beisinger, the tight end, shifts here to the near side of the formation. Anderson, long snap count, takes the snap, hands the ball off to Dawson on the stretch play. He's hit as he crosses the line of scrimmage, and he's down to about the 29-yard line. Get on the tackle for Elmwood Greenfield. So we'll add him to our list here if people look out. I love those coaches with their starting lineups. <laughs> So this time the work out of the shotgun, second down and eight. Anderson standing at his 30, takes the snap, quick drop, looking, throws a slant pattern incomplete just behind the intended receiver. Colton Welch went to try to reach back and get it, and with the speed of the ball and where it was positioned, it just wasn't going to be complete. really like to listen to it. Jones for the right play. Our neighbors, right? Neighbors. So here we go out of the shotgun with an eye formation stacked around Anderson in the shotgun. He takes the snap, rolling right, now turns it upfield, breaks a tackle, dives across the 20. He's going to be short sure of the first down, but it's four down territory, and the Green Dragons will need to go for it. Well, just inside the 20. Actually, the nose of the football is touching the 20 yard line. Out wide to the far side goes Welch, Bush here to the near side. There's the snap. Fake handoff to Dawson. Anderson rolling right, delivers the ball downfield. Beisinger has it at the goal line, and he is in for the score. Touchdown, Alito Westmore. Touchdown, Green Dragons. Brad Anderson hits Devin Beisinger from 18 yards out for the score. Sideline and hit uh, uh, Beisinger on a uh, crossing pattern from his left end position. He came all the way across the field and. Anderson hit him in stride for the score. Well, he had a kind of, I thought, a breakout game last week against the Illini West. Looked real nice catching the ball. And uh, he made a nice grab there and a nice run as well. And Anderson did a nice job of waiting for him to clear before hitting him. Boucher now to attempt the extra point. There's the snap. Placements down. Kick is a low line drive underneath the goal post. No, because Alito West for six. Elmwood Brickfield nothing. And here we go with the kickoff for Alito Westmore. Once again, Colton Welch to do the kicking. He moves in, hits the football short, end over end, coming downfield, hitting it about the 28, goes inside the 25 where Dawson has it, looking for a running room. He is hit and bulldog down, down right at about the 27 yard line and uh, making the play. Play for Alito Westmer was uh, Dylan King. Speed and uh, Anderson did hit him right in stride on that scoring. Play. On first and ten, the snap and the handoff goes to the uh, running back, the wing back to the far side, Landau and that ball. was Landau. Cody Landau with the carry. I don't think I put him oh, down for you, Chuck, as a running back. They didn't have him listed. Well, that kind of looked like a Chinese fire drill. They had about four people uh, trying to be the lead blocker, and they all just got tangled up. Well, and that's what they try to do, Chuck. And all of a sudden, the guy will pop free. There's the snap and the pitch to Dawson trying to get wide. He cuts it back up inside. Now back outside again, still on his feet. Turns the corner, and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. And that's just what I was talking about, Chuck. When they're bunched in there so tight, and if you don't... Stop him. They can break him outside. Bill Breeden, what do you see? All right, so it's first and 10. They knocked him out at the 44. There's the snap, and the quarterback turns it upfield and crosses the 45 to the 46. Ian McDonald and uh, Preston Smith make the tackle for the Green Dragons. It's a short gain of two, make it second down and eight with 9.37 to go. The quarterback gets the play, comes back from the sideline. Good good man, ducks into the huddle. He'll work out of the shotgun now with a wide receiver to each side of the field. It's a high snap, and the handoff goes to Dawson. 
And he's stacked up for a loss on the play, well, but a penalty flag also goes flying down on that. And I'll tell you, Michael McClellan. And they break the huddle on third down. They send a wide out here to the near side with a man in the slot. They have the uh, double wing set, a naked backfield behind the quarterback, Hammond. He takes the snap, hands the ball off to the wing back, and he's tripped up in the backfield by Ethan Ball. That was uh, Cody Landau once again on the carry. And actually, he loses two yard, one yard on the play, so it'll be fourth down to nine, and the Trojans is forced to punt. Five, Colton Welch back at his 25. There's the snap. Kick is away. A high kick here to the far side. Welch is going to let it hit, and it takes a Elmwood Brimfield bounce and curls out of bounds at the 21 yard line, as they were definitely uh, Chuck kicking away from Colton Welch. First and 10 Dragons. Welch out wide to the far side. Here to the near side are, is Dixon, and in the slot is Ball. Anderson working out of the shotgun with Dawson sitting next to him. There's the snap. Fake the handoff to Dawson. No, they give it to Dawson. Big hole. He's out across the 30, 35. Heads to the far sideline, 40. Jukes him in at 45 to the 50. They trip him up at the 40. A touchdown saving tackle made by Jake Hammond. And Mr. Dawson would have broke off a 79-yard touchdown run as he burned the Brimfield, Elmwood Brimfield Trojans last year, Chuck, for touchdown runs of 65, 68, 61 yards, and almost broke another long. Wide receiver set to each side of the field. Now Welch comes in motion here to the near side. Anderson takes the snap, hands the ball off to Dawson. He hits it up inside and is driven down at about the 36-yard line. It'll be a gain of about four on the play. Bill Breeden, nice stretch play once again for Dawson. All right, so out wide to the far side goes Welch. Here to the near side is Dixon. This time Anderson once again in the shotgun with Dawson flank next to him. There's the snap. Anderson drops, throws, hits Dixon on the uh, slam pattern. He has it inside the 20 down to about the 18-yard line. First and 10, Alito Westmer. Boy, Dixon ran a nice crisp route there, Chuck, and Anderson delivered right on the button. Right on the money. Here to the far side with Welch in the slot. There's the snap. And the handoff goes to the fullback ball, and he gets some short yardage where he's driven back. Wrapping him up first was the right tackle, Spencer Curtail, a 6'1", 260-pounder. Well, Ethan uh, didn't get a loss. He got For the Dragons, Welch out wide to the far side. In the slot to that side is Ball. Dixon flanked here to the near side. The lone setback is Dawson. There's the snap, and he gets the ball, cuts it up inside. Big hole. He's at the 10. He's at the 5 to the far side. He goes. Touchdown, Alito Westmer. Touchdown, Green Dragons. Matt Dawson goes in from 18 yards out. Nice run that time. And that is now $1 off a large or extra large pizza at Vitaly's. And that caps off a 79-yard drive. Well, Matt's uh, getting right back up to his pre-Illini West average there. Four carries, 63 yards, a little over 15 yards per touch. And we had a penalty flag go down as Alito Westmore went to set up for the extra point. What's going on? You can do it up until I blow the whistle. You can, I can get the right number on the field. I'm, I'm, right, my, to get the right number on the field, but swap you can't do. So basically, I call, I run my plays in every play, so once you blow the whistle... Bill, I another run nice cutback run, run by Dawson. No, because you're you're getting your 11th guy out there. No, that's I already have 11 guys out there. No, when you send your play in, you're getting your 11th guy out there. Right, and that's what right? I'm doing here. I'm getting my 11th guys out there. No, you have 11 out there. You're taking two in and two out. And I'm you taking do that. one in and one out when our regular play, right? But well, one's already coming to the side. No, he hasn't. Maybe he hasn't come in. Because then doesn't it's know. illegal substitution. Really, because so, yeah. so my, my team's supposed to know which personnel group is supposed to be in there as soon as the play in. Because I might be taking a no, tight end out of it. We're still waiting game. for Coach uh, Welder I, I and the uh, referee to discuss this. Uh, Fred Marriott, oh, you're saying this is Dr. Uh, you're already in the way. Yeah, you're not in the way. Yeah, you're not in the way. You're coming up after the game tonight. I know it's tick tack, but it is what it is. And you'll add the Craig Zink next to the game. We've never been involved. All right, line up a kick. Line up a kick. Go. Line up a kick. He had a good year last year. He's going to <laughs> Boucher now to attempt the extra point. There's the placement. Kick is down. It is up and it is good. And with 6.02 left to go here in the first quarter, it is now a lead of 13. Elmwood Brookfield So we Glad to have him with us. So here 
out of your carpet floor covering. That's right, so here we go. Bolton Welch now to kick off four. Alito Westmore once again for the third time this quarter. There's the kick, short one coming downfield, and a fair catch called for by the up back of four Elmwood Brimfield. That was Aaron Watson. So here come the Trojans up to the line of scrimmage. They run the double tight end, double wing, with the lone setback being the fullback. Everybody bunched in tight. There's the snap, and the handoff goes to the fullback, and he's stacked up for a short game. Derek King looks like the man that had him down low, along with uh, Preston Smith. Once again, the Dragons working with that 52 defense tonight because of the running attack of the Trojans. So it's second down as Hammond looks over the defense. Offset eye in the backfield. He drops back to throw, rolling to his left, looking downfield, steps up and throws the deep ball. And it's downfield and caught by Dawson. And Bush makes the touchdown saving tackle inside the 25 yard line as Mason Bush got caught sleeping. And a nice. So on first down, the handoff goes up the middle, and uh, the ball carrier takes it down around the 18-yard line. We'll have to wait and see who that was on the carry. Once again, double wing. There's the snap. The handoff goes to the left half. I think that was Landau, and he got drugged down from behind, and a penalty flag went down as well on the play. Landau with the carry. Yeah. I say if you get somebody completes a pass again now wide to the far side for the uh, Trojans goes Clay Hoffman here to the near side is Watson there's the snap Hammond pump fake back to pass under pressure now and he is going to finally go down Derek King or they say he fumbled it or was he trying to get rid of it I think he was trying to get rid of it I think they're calling it a fumble Derek King was all over him, spinning him to the ground, and they, they say the ball popped loose in this part of the field. Once again, it's four down territory. So here come the Trojans out wide here to the near side is McCright. In the slot to this side is Watson. No one set behind the quarterback, Hammond. There's the snap, and the pitch goes to Landau, trying to turn the corner. A bunch of dragons there, and they just snow him under. We have a flag on the, on the play, and also a penalty flag on top of it, Derry King once again. Derek and uh, getting in there for the Dragon Sheldon DeFreeze as well. Arthur I'm that's going to And here we go. It's fourth down now and a good uh, 20 yards to go. Hammond takes the snap, rolls back to the left, looking downfield under pressure, still with the football, and he's finally brought down inside the 34-yard line. Did he fumble the ball? No, he was just brought down somewhere around the 35. So Alito gets the ball back on downs now at the 35-yard line here in the first quarter, and Alito Westmer on top, 13 to nothing. Naked backfield, Anderson under center. In motion comes Dawson, he now sets deep in the eye and he gets the pitch. He's gonna turn the corner, has a blocker, shoots it up the middle, now back outside the 45-50, 45-40, run out of bounds by Dawson of Brimfield at around the 39 yard line of Elmwood Brimfield. First and 10 for the Dragons. Quick handoff up the middle, goes to ball, and he gets a couple yards before he's driven he's down. Making the tackle uh, for Elmwood Brimfield once again is Spencer Curtail, the 6'1", 260-pound senior. He and uh, Ethan are getting to know each other well. Second down at eight, line. Welch goes out wide to the far side here. The near oh, side Elmwood is Dixon. Brimfield. This time they'll work out of the eye, and we've got a new fullback. I've got to check and see who that is. It might be Sheldon DeFreeze. We'll see. There's the snap, handoff to Dawson, cut back up the middle, he's at the 30, 25, next man miss at the 20, he's at the 15, the 10, one man to beat, jukes him and he goes in for the score, touchdown Alito Westmer, touchdown Green Dragon. Flag on the field, got a flag. Block down inside the 10 yard line, and even with the penalty, as I think, does that come all the way back? Now we'll have to wait and see, Bill Breeden, boy I'll tell you, Dawson, uh, I don't know, I don't remember him making as many open field moves as he's made here tonight. He's done a nice job of making people miss. Unfortunately, that one's coming back. Out wide of the far side goes Bush. Here to the near side as well. So with the walk off, it makes it first down. And about uh, 10 yards to go. 
Dawson the lone setback, deep in an eye. There's the snap. Anderson pumps, fires, incomplete. Trying to hit Mason That's Bush on Mason a uh, Bush. post pattern. Fine. Of Elmwood Brimfield, and it's second down and 10. And also the fullback for Alito right now is Michael McClell. He's running fullback. Anderson under center looking over that defense. Offset on high in the backfield. There's the snap. Fakes the hand. Off, eludes the rush, throws it out in the flat, and it's complete to DeFreeze, the tight end. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, still battling, and finally he's going to be bulldogged down around the 7 or 8-yard line. Sheldon DeFreeze just did not want to go down. He wanted 6. Gain of 11 that time. For... Speed able to elude that rusher just barely. So Bush is out wide to the far side here in the slot as well as to that same side. McClellan and Dawson in the backfield. There's the snap. And the handoff goes to McClellan. He's hit at the five and stacked up for a short game. Football is just at the five. I think Alito Westmer, but the Dragons are threatening to score once again. Welch goes wide to the far side. Dixon here to the near side. The lone setback is Dawson in the double tight end set. In motion comes Welch back to the formation. Anderson takes the snap. Hands the ball up the middle to Dawson. He breaks a tackle. He dies to the goal line, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Leo Westbrook. Touchdown, Green Dragons. Matt Dawson sticks it in for six. Giving 109 yards now on the night on just seven carries. <laughs> they faked the handoff to Welch on the uh, end around and went to Dawson up the middle. There's the snap. Placement's down. Kick is up, and it is wide to the right. No good. Leo Westbrook. 19, nothing. And welcome back to George Pratt Memorial Field. Alito Westmers jumped on top of Elmwood Brimfield, 19 to nothing here in the first quarter. Three possessions, three scores. They will now kick off once again to the Trojans. Fulton Welch hits it. Short end over end kick coming down the field, taken by an up back at the 32. Then he covers it. And I think he's going to mark, they're going to mark him down at the 30. Uh, that was uh, Joel Zayden. Ball covered by Joel. Oh, yeah, a little good. trouble corralling that one. He's beaten to nothing. Jake Hammond once again running the controls for the Trojans out wide to the far side goes Hoffman. McCright here to the near side. Double wing formation. Now the wing back goes in motion. The handoff goes up the middle. And nothing much there as Alito stacked it up quickly. Once again, Aaron Watson on the carry, but uh, he actually is going to lose a yard check. 15 yards in the first down, and then the big pass play of 40 yards uh, where the receiver got behind the Dragon defense. Coach Hollis calls in the play to Hammond. Hammond now, and the rest of the Trojans break the huddle. He'll work out of the shotgun this time with a double wing and the fullback set up in front of him. There's the snap, and the handoff goes to Dawson. He's around the left side. He's got a big hole. He's at the 45-50. He's still on his feet, 45-40, 35-30. And Ian McDonald runs him down around the 24-yard line. If Bob is ready to give me a scoreboard update, all right, I'll be coming to him after the first play of the second. The field, and Dawson had a clean slate to get into the secondary. Let's we'll see what Coach Breeden thinks. We're already in our second quarter underway. Right. So here we go on first and ten. Quick pop pass out in the flat, incomplete, intended for the. Wide receiver McCright trying to do a quick slant pattern. Time report and, of course, the high school football scoreboard following the game. Second down and 10 now. Hammond will work out of the shotgun. He takes the snap, hands the ball off to Landau. He comes off the right side and gets to about the 20. Ball given to Cody Landau. Ripped down, I believe that was uh, Josh Shaw, Shaw, the end, who got him. So it'll be third down and, uh, what do you want to say, Chuck, uh, short eight? Here, their last possession, but penalties in the Lido Westmore defense stopped them. Hammond will work out of the shotgun once again. He takes the snap, rolls right, looking to throw, looking, looking, looking. Heavy pressure on. Now he gets rid of it as a penalty flag comes down after the play was totally over. Here from the near side, Bill Breeden, you see what the penalty flag was about. As the quarterback, Hammond pressure 
But Alito Westmer's handled things except for two points. Side, and be right back. Oh, yeah, out on oh, the field. 11-14 left to go in the first half. 19-0. Alito Westmer will be back. Wide out to each side with a man in the slot. And a double wing. Hammond takes the snap, drops back the pass, lays it on the flat. The receiver there, Watson has it. He breaks a tackle, breaks another, and he could be near first down That's territory. The there and Watson. That would be about a yard shy, but a nice play on the part of the Trojans. Nearly picks up the first down. And if, he's, if he's shy, Alito Westmer gets the ball back, and Bill Breeden, it looked like everybody forgot about Aaron Watson. What's right enough for the first down? Alito Westmer is going to take over. From Lee, Dawson is the lone setback, set deep behind the quarterback, Anderson, who ducks under center. Anderson takes the snap, quick drop, looking now, pump fakes, looking, nothing there, still running with the football. He eludes the uh, rusher. He's out across the 20, 25, 30, 35, and he stumbles. And comes down at the 35-yard line as the 32-yard line chalk. 21 yards. Yeah, 21. So here we go. First and 10 for the Dragons. They'll work out of the eye with a wide out to the far side and a man in the slot to that side as well. Anderson, quick drop once again. Throws it, ball's knocked up in the air. Did it get intercepted? I don't think so. Nope, incomplete. The Dragons got a break there as right as Anderson went to throw the ball, his arm was right. surging line. Second and ten. Got a hand up there and tipped it, nearly intercepted. So Dixon out wide to the far side. Ball is in the slot here to the near side, and uh, Welch flanked outside of him. Anderson is the lone setback. Now Do Welch goes in motion to the far side of the field. Anderson back to pass, draw play to Dawson, and he is met right at the line of scrimmage there to pancake him. Was Elmwood Brimfield's uh, Tommy here. Wide to the far side, ball is in the slot here to the near side, and uh, Welch flanked outside of him. Anderson is the lone setback. Now Do Welch goes in motion to the far side of the field. Anderson back to pass, draw play to Dawson, and he is met right at the line of scrimmage there to pancake him. Was Elmwood Brimfield's uh, Tommy here. Trojans hit me pretty hard. So third and nine for the Dragons. Pittman out wide to the far side. Welch is flanked out next to him, and uh, on a wing to that side is Ball. Once again, Dawson is the lone setback. Bisinger, the tight end set here to the near side. Elmwood Brimfield shows uh, blitz. And Alito Westmore wants a timeout. They didn't like what they saw. Timeout on the field, 9.46 left to go here in the first half. It's Alito Westmore 19, Elmwood Brimfield nothing. Subway sandwiches. Third down and nine for the Dragons. They took that timeout. Coach Welder didn't like what he saw. And so here we go. Anderson under center. Dawson alone setback. Quick drop by Anderson looking, trying to step up, and he eludes the man, but they say his knee went down. Quarterback that Anderson quick uh, drop is just, down. I guess, give the Trojans credit. Bill Breeden, they're covering the uh, intended Spencer receiver. Fourth down and 16. There's the snap to Welch. She's back to punt. The kick is away. A safer coming downfield, driving Watson back. Hits and takes an Alito Westmer bounce. And it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling all the way down to the 23 yard line. So Alito Westmer gets a great punt from Colton Welch. And they will get the ball back. Uh, Elmwood Brimfield will, following Alito's first punt. Trojan to the line of scrimmage. Right out to the far side is McCrite Watson in the slot. Next to him, double wing. There's the snap, the pitch back to Cody Landau. Cody Landau and he gets out to about the 24 yard line. It'll be a gain of two or three on the play. As he is listening, maybe he will be <laughs> kind, have something left over so that as you get to feeling better this evening, you may have one to take home. There we go. Second down, Hammond back to pass, lays it out in the flat once again. Oh. Watson, and there is a hit out there oh, the flat down, down by Watson. Kyle Pittman. Yeah, it might be up for our happy Joe for our Alito Meat Market rib cracking play of the game. He dropped Watson in a hurry. It will be third down and seven. Alito Westmore on top, 19 to nothing. We'll be checking in with Bob Leonard here in uh, Alito's possession after this play. In a few moments, we'll get an Alito Auto and Farm scoreboard update. Wide out here to the near side with a man in the slot. Double wing set, lone, no setback. There's the snap, the handoff to the wing back coming the other way, and that's Watson, or Dawson, Dawson he's up snapped up. It looks like Jordan Willits was the man who got him, a gain of a couple, so it will set up fourth down 
for Elmwood Brookfield, and they'll be forced to punt the football as Colton Welch heads back across the 50 to receive the punt. Fourth and five results in the punt for the uh, Trojans. you kicking all the way back to uh, his own 17 yard line. Jake Hammond, Jake Hammond gets the punt away, a low line well, drive back. kick angling to the far sideline. They're definitely trying not to kick the ball to Alita Westmore, no doubt about it. Alita Westmore ball at the 50, first and 10, with 7-10 left to go here in the first half. Holy Anderson center under center. They'll work out of the eye. As Welch comes in motion here to the near side of the field. Anderson with the handoff to Dawson. Big hole up the middle. He's across the 40. Cuts it back. 35. Breaks a tackle. 25. 20. It's a sprint to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown. Green Dragons on first and 10. Man, Dawson races 50 yards for the score. Attempt the extra point. There's the snap, placements down, kick is up, and this time it is good. And with seven minutes left to go in the first half, it is the Alito Westmer 26 and Elmwood Brimfield nothing. That's left to go in the first half. Matt Dawson, his third touchdown of the night, that's four for Alito, and that means $2 well, off. How long? Extra large pizza at Vitalis. That's tonight or tomorrow, Chuck. You can have that large or extra large pizza. Sounds good to me. That's one nice thing about home games. It gives people time on Friday night to enjoy that discount special. But we are starting to get near John's limit. Here we go. There's the kick. Short end over end. Coming down here to the near side. Taken by Clay Hoffman. He's at the 30 and then ridden down. Nice open field tackle there made by Michael McClellan. Yeah, Michael was a nice tackle. Center, but uh, other than that, uh, not much uh, not much happening on the offensive side of the ball. Hoffman is the lone wide out here to the near side. Otherwise, everybody's backed in there tight. There's the pitch to the left wing back, Cody Landau, and he gets a couple of yards. Bill Braden, Matt Dawson once again explodes down that far sideline. In on that last tackle, moves it to the 35. Landau again, and this time bear hugging him down was uh, Abel Caster. Bill, once again, there's one of those defensive linemen. Abel Caster. So McCrite goes out wide to the far side for the Trojans. It's Watson in the slot, double wing formation, naked backfield behind him, and he pitches the ball to Dawson. He cuts it up inside across the 40 to the 42 there yard line, and he's got it up for a first down. Making the play for Lito West. Was Ian McDonald and uh, Colton down and 10 for the Trojans. Watson once again in the slot, lone setback, and that is Dawson. He gets the pitch, he cuts up inside, and he's down by the ankles and brought down by Michael McClellan crashing down. Michael McClellan stopping him. But Bill, when you're talking about Dawson's run a moment ago, that hole being 10, 12 feet wide, are you uh, indicating that hole was wide enough that even Chuck Clawson could run through it? So it's second down and eight. For the Trojans. Everybody stacked in tight. There's the pitch to Landau. He cuts it up inside. He gets across the 45 to about the 47. Ethan Ball, the linebacker, makes the tackle down low. And it's a gain of a couple more, maybe three, and it'll sit up third down. Ethan Ball. And six. On that last tackle. Over the inside is Hoffman. Otherwise, everyone stacked in tight. Double wing set. There's the snap, the snap is fumbled. It's on the turf, who's got okay, the ball? Alito Westmore's got the ball. I think Jordan Willis was the man who recovered that fumble as the quarterback in that tight punched formation just ran into his own people and the ball was knocked loose and Alito Westmore gets it back. And now we're set to go. Dragons work out of the eye. Anderson. Long snap count, takes the snap, drops straight back, steps up over the middle, complete to Bisinger, the tight end breaks a tackle at the 30, makes a man miss with 25, and he's down to the 20. It's first and 10, Alito Westmer, as the big guy just uh, made that tackler bounce off him, Chuck. I like good Bisinger, the tight end, he's good speed, good hands, and that tackle, he just first ran the would-be tackler, and then was finally brought down at the 20. Welch comes in motion, he gets the handoff, cuts it up inside, now outside. He's at the 15, he's at the 10, to the 5, and he's ridden down with a horse collar tackle at about the three yard line. Making the touchdown saving play, Logan Dunn for the Trojans. It'll be first and goal to go at the three. 
Far side Dawson in the slot to freeze the tight end here to the far side as well. Ball is the lone setback. He gets the handoff up the middle. He pushes the pile forward, and he's in for the score. Touchdown, to Touchdown, Green Dragons. Ethan Ball pulls his way in for six. Great blocking up front by that uh, Green Dragon offensive line. They just uh, moved the entire defense off the ball, and ball, ball. Uh, 45 yards didn't take too long. Boucher now to attempt the extra point. There's the snap. Placement's down. Low kick is blocked at the line of scrimmage. It uh, didn't get high at all. As Boucher having trouble with right his extra points. And so 329 left in the first half. It's a Lido Westmer 32. Now with the Rimfield. Welcome back to George Crabb Memorial Field. Colton Welch to kick it off for the Green Dragons after that 45-yard drive following the Trojan fumble. And he moves in and hits it. It's a short push kick this time, just past the line of scrimmage, and the penalty play goes down. I think Alito might have been offsides. Illegal procedure on the drag. I saw Kevin Beisinger down there checking. Looks like his right calf is sore. I think maybe a little cramp or something. Move that down just a little bit. Now to kick it deep this time, driving him back. Dawson fields it at his 19. He's out across the 25, 30, and down he goes. Making the play was Ethan Ball, and he's coming up a little sore from that hit. Looks like his stinger on right, his right shoulder. That is also up for a Toledo meat market rib cracking play of the game. So here come the Trojans up to the line of scrimmage. Hoffman here to the near side in the slot is Watson. Once again, a double wing set. Tucked in tight. There's the pitch to Landau. He cuts up inside. And he gets to about the 33-yard line. Johnson, by the way, is in at linebacker for the Green Dragons to replace Ball, who got bummed up on that tackle. Bryson started at middle linebacker last week for the Green Dragons. So Bryson Johnson and Ian McDonald at the linebacker spots for the Green Dragons. And Bill, back to you once again. Second and seven from the 33. We'll come out with Brimfield. On second down, the snap once again to Hammond. And he pitches the ball to Landau. And it's student body right once again. And they power ahead for about four Even yards this time. And set up third down. And a short three to go for Elmwood Brimfield with 2.28 left to go at the end of the first quarter. It was 28 to 16, Alito Westman scoring. Elmwood Brimfield has not. Hoffman here to the near side. He is the lone wideout on third and short. Hammond now ducks under center, takes the snap, pitches the ball to Landau once again. He powers up inside. And he's first down Tory Tory. I think he's got it. Nothing fancy, Chuck. Just a pitch to Landau and he heads over the Right side. Uh, Ten of the eleven players are within a three-yard square out there. So on first and ten, Hammond takes the snap, drops back to pass, looking at the pressure, loses the one tackler, and will not get away from the second. He's brought down at the forty. Derek King and Ian McDonald combining on the stop. I wasn't sure who the first guy had him by the jersey, but he was able to pull away from him and get it out to the forty-one. So here we go, second down and nine. The pitch goes to Dawson, this time the same play the other way, he breaks the tackle, he's at the 45, he's at the 50, and Dawson rides him down at the Alito Westmer 47 yard line, so they use that play with Cody Landau. This time with Dawson, Bill, that's just putting a lot of blockers at the point of attack, isn't it? He's coming into a safety spot. Or no, excuse me, he's coming into the linebacker spot. So King in the game at linebacker. It's first and 10 for the Trojans. Handoff up the middle to Dawson, and he gets across the 45 and is driven back. King down low along with McDonald making the stop, but he got four on the play. Yeah, the time kind of got away from me here. The Trojans up the line of scrimmage probably with one play left here in the first half. Wide outs to each side. Hammond takes the snap, dropping back to pass, great, under great. pressure, Center rolls up. to his right, now Third. runs with the Hammond football, the and he's tripped up by a nice open field tackle by Bryson Johnson to end the first half of play. 
And at the end of the first half, it's only the Westmore in control of this ball game. It's a lead of Westmore, 32. Elmwood Brimfield, nothing. We'll be back and recap the action after this. about set to go. We'll have the second half kick off for you right after this. Well, Elmwood Brimfield will kick off and it's the kick down the field. Matt Dawson at the 20 drops it, picks it up at the 26, makes a man miss. But then he's tripped up first and 10 because uh, uh, Tompkins is out tonight. So uh, Dawson is doing the kickoff duty, and so it'll be first and ten for a lead of Westmore at the 27 yard line. I think Dawson just got a little bit ahead of himself there. He really that up and he did have some room. So first and ten for a lead of Westmore here as we start the second half. Colton Welch out wide to the far side with ball in the slot. Here the near side is Dixon. Anderson's in the shotgun. Or I think that's ball next to him. That's Dawson out in the slot. There's the snap. Anderson back to pass under heavy pressure, steps up, tries to run with it, and is brought down for a loss on the play. Coming through hard, untouched, was the left end, Clay Hoffman. And Anderson, fortunately, saw him coming and was able to get out of there, but he came through unblocked. Wide here to the far side in the slot is Welch. Balls the fullback, Dawson the tailback on second down. The handoff to Dawson up the middle, cuts it back. Can't get away from the second tackler. He's brought down for a short gain. Had he gotten away, it would have been a big run, but Hammond. All right, thank you, Robert. It's third down and a long seven to go for the Green Dragons. Welch comes in motion here across the formation. Anderson in the shotgun rolls to the right, looking to throw. Looking, now Thrillivers caught by Dixon at the 44-yard line for a first down. Nice catch by Dixon as he tight right, tight runs the sideline. Welch out wide to the far side. Here to the near side are Pittman and uh, Ball. Ball now is going to shift and get in the backfield with Anderson in the shotgun, and Dawson goes to the slot on the far side. Anderson with the snap count. Takes it, dropping straight back, steps up through pressure, makes the first man miss, makes the second. There he goes across the 30, 45, 40, 45, 30, and down to the 26-yard line. Goes Brett Anderson on the quarterback, keeper, and that's a real backbreaker for a defense, Bill Breeden. So let's see if they solve that problem. Welch out wide to the far side. Once again, ball in the slot. Here to the near side is Dixon. Dawson flanked next to Anderson in the shotgun. Anderson takes the snap, dropping straight back, looking, slant pattern complete to Dixon. He's inside the 10 now to the five yard line. First and 10, first and goal to go for the Alito Westmore Green Dragons. And uh, Bill Breen, Mr. Dixon getting a few more looks tonight. Now in motion comes Welch here to the near side of the field. Anderson takes the snap and rolls that way, looking to throw. Delivers. It's caught by Welch, and he's ridden out of bounds, shy of the goal line at about the three. Anderson with a nice pass to Corbin Welch. The name of that uh, one player that nobody had ever <laughs> heard of. <laughs> heard of. Yeah. <laughs> and he happened to be on the panel. That didn't hurt. No, that didn't hurt. Here we go. Second down and goal. There's the snap. Anderson back. Throws. Complete to Welch, touchdown Alito Westmore, touchdown Green Dragons. Brad Anderson to Colton Welch for a six. So the Green Dragons now will go for two after uh, missing some extra points earlier. The lone setback is Dawson. 
Anderson takes the snap, dropping back to pass once again. People are covered. Now he scrambles, going to the far side. He heads for the pylon, and he gets in for the two-point conversion. The run is good. So with 8.46 left to go here in the third quarter, it is now Alito Westmer 40, Elmwood Brimfield nothing. Grant, that's Bruce's son. Bruce's boy. Yeah. Yeah. Westmer takes the opening kickoff of the second half, goes 73 yards for the score. And Welch moves in and hits it. Short end over end kick here to the near side. Watson follows it, but it goes out of bounds. Penalty on the drag. 35 yard down line, first and 10, trailing 40 to nothing to the Green Dragons. So on first and 10, there's the snap, and the handoff goes to Dawson off right tackle, and they Push the pile forward, out for about a gain of three. Jeremy Dawson, the mile carrier. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, Grant McCright, the split end for the Trojans, uh, is the son of Bruce McCright, I believe, an Alito High School grad. The infamous, the infamous Butch is correct. Yes, you are certainly correct there. An Alito High School Hall of Famer now. There's the snap, handoff goes to Landau. He tries to play off the right side this time and he's stopped short. Minimal gain on the play. I think that was, well, that was uh, Jordan Woods who made the tackle for Alito West. And uh, also our Alito Meat Market rib cracking player of the game. Brought to you by your Alito Meat Market in downtown Alito. A player who we think has cracked some ribs out there. There's the snap, Hammond back to pass. Rolling right now, delivers, and it is almost intercepted by Pittman. Hit him right in the hands, and he couldn't hold That's on. He had that big hit on the uh, kickoff. Uh, up the back complete. That time, the ball hit him right in these hands. Back to the 38. Incomplete. Colton Welch back to receive the punt now as it's fourth down and a good uh, six yards to go. There's the snap. Kick is a low line drive kick and spinning and staying in bounds and going all the way to the 20. Welch picks it up, has some blockers down the sideline, and he tight ropes the sideline and is driven down. Out, I should say, at about the 36, it looks like to me. So first and 10 for the Green Dragons. Anderson the center. So we've got some new people in the backfield. There's the snap. And the handoff goes to Max Parkinson. He breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. He's out of close to 45 to the 46 yard line. Near first down territory. Bill on that punt return. Would you uh, agree with uh, Chuck Clausen on that block? All right, very good. He is the leader for the Alito Meat Market rib cracking play of the game. Because I know Coach Hassan, I think, came down there and was really giving him the high five there about way to, way to make the hits. First and 10, it was enough for a first down. Straight in handoff goes to McClellan, and he is met mano de mano right in the hole. That ball, he got stopped there. So second down and nine for the Green Dragons. Up to the line they come. Once again, McClellan is now the fullback, and our, it looks like uh, our tailback now is Tony. Chuck was so worried about getting one of these. And there's my man, my favorite agricultural educator in the whole United States and the best pork chop cooker. And there's the handoff. It goes to Parkinson. That was now Tony Parkinson. And he is driven down. There's a for loss on the play. Maximum effort by Parkinson that time, but just no way to go. He must have been hit by seven tacklers. Wouldn't go down. Still has a yard yard on the play. Carthage. So it's third down and 10 for the Green Dragons. As the clock continues to move, three and a half minutes to go here in the third. Alito Westmore on top 40 to nothing. We'll be going to the Rock Ridge Knoxville game after this. There's the snap. Anderson hands the ball off to Parkinson. Makes a nice move. Makes the first man miss. He's across midfield inside the 45. Down about the 42 yard line, but there was a yellow hanky on the play. The interior lineman that time was Parkinson made a nice run. Had enough for the So it'll be third down now for Alito West. Well, the Dragons out wide to the far side is uh, Sean Peterson. He's a wide receiver now. And there's the snap. And uh, Parkinson is just hammered the minute he got it. Is that'll set up a fourth down now for the Dragons. It's a bend position is AJ Schrader, who just made that nice hit on the punt return for the Green Dragons. Bush is the safety along with uh, Sean Peterson. So here we go, first and ten for. The Trojans. There's the pitch to Landau off the right side. Hits across the third. He's driven back. And 
Also coming in the quarters here at George Pratt Memorial Field. It's Alito Westmer 40, Elmwood Brimfield nothing. We're heading to the fourth quarter of play here at George Pratt Memorial Field with Alito Westmer rolling 40 nothing over Elmwood Brimfield. So it's second down and about six yards to go. There's the pitch to Jeremy Dawson of the Trojans, and he's ripped out of bounds. Nice tackle there made by the Dragons' Joel Tony. So here we go, third down and a long three for the Trojans. There's the pitch, and it goes to Landau, and he's up the middle. He's still fighting, and he has enough now for the first down out to the 42-yard line, and I would imagine, too, Bill, when they uh, review the film, they're, they're critique just like the starters are. Move the ball out to the 44-yard line. Hammond under center. We got movement along the front line, and we had the uh, end and tackle on that side jump a little early. So it'll be first and five. The quarterback, Jake Hammond, hanging on to the ball. Thank you, Robert. So we'll be going to that Rockridge Knoxville game at halftime and have the second half for you. And then, of course, Bob comes your way with the Alito Auto and Fire. Well, he'll have the scoreboard updates, but he'll come to you with the WMJ High School football scoreboard show after that. And keeps it, he turns it upfield and gets to the Alito Westmer 45, where it's a Trojan first down with 9.55 to go. The snap and the pitch to Dawson. He's off the right side, bulls his way forward, and he's near first. First down territory once again, as that was a case once again of uh, student body left, and they got a lot of blockers on the point of attack. And that breaks up the uh, so-called wedge going around the corner. There's snap, and the handoff goes straight ahead to the fullback, and the big pile just uh, moves forward to about the 31-yard line. I'll check and see who was the ball carrier on that one. I think it was Watson again, maybe. He's at the Alito Westmore 31. Hammond takes the snap, pitches the ball back to Dawson, leads him through the hole. He breaks a tackle, breaks another, and then is roped down by Sheldon. He's at about the 15-yard line for another Elmwood Brimfield first down. He also wears number 25. First and 10 to go for the Trojans at the Alito Westmore 15-yard line as they methodically have moved the ball down the field. There's the pitch to Dawson. And the pile just moves forward. Down to the 10-yard line, and Bill Breeden, they're just kind of the old three yards in a cloud of dust power football. I guess you've got to get low get underneath them. So it's second down now for the Trojans. The snap and the pitch, it's on the turf, and does Alita Westmore recover? Yes, they do. Westmore oh, recovers with the 16-yard line falling on the football for the Green Dragons. Max Parkinson is the defense. Oh, 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 oh. Green Dragons get a big break. Tanner Benson checks in the ball game for Alito at a tight end spot. He'll get the play from the quarterback, Brandon Dixon, who's now running the Alito offense. And he looks over that defense, takes the snap, hands the ball off to Parkinson, and he is hit the minute he got the ball. And second down and 12 yards to go for the Green Dragons with 6.25 remaining here in this ball game. Alito is on top. 40 to nothing. Dixon under center. Waiting now. And he takes the snap. And the handoff to Dylan King. Cuts it up inside. Breaks it. He's across the 20, 25, 30. He's on the 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. To the 30. Still not allowed. It's at the 31 yard line. Dylan King for the carry. Stop by Jeremy Bowser. Third line. Yard Peterson on first and ten. Dixon looks over the defense, takes the snap, hands the ball off to Parkinson. He cuts it up inside, breaks a tackle, still on his feet, fights his way forward. He's inside the 20, all the way down to about the 16-yard line, and then probably flies come down. We could have a <laughs> That's going to be half the distance. Going to mark it down. Tailback as Dixon dunks under center. In motion comes Muskie here to the near side. Dixon takes the snap, straight in handoff. King breaks the first tackle, keeps fighting forward. He's inside the five down near the 40-yard line as the running back for the Green Dragons, the fullback at 5'11", 160, doing a nice job in a wide receiver. So Despain is the fullback and the tailback, I believe, is Parkinson still. You can't tell if it's 44 or 43. 
Dixon takes the snap, hands the ball off to Tony. That is Tony. They tail back, and he fights off a first tackler and gets well, down near the goal line. Down. So once again, Bill Breeden, the uh, Green Dragon running backs, all of them fighting for that extra yardage. Three yard line, where it's be third and goal. And Muskie goes out wide to the far side. Here to the near side is Peterson. Once again, Despain is the fullback, and Tony is the tailback. Dixon under center. Takes the snap, straight in handoff. It goes to Despain. He hits into the pile and is being driven back shy of the goal line. Despain, the ball And I think he's going to come up just short. So it's going to be four. Oh and about inside the one yard line. Tompkins comes in, Muskie checks out, and the Dragons break the huddle. And in here the near side. Despain's the fullback. Tony is the uh, tailback on fourth and goal. Dixon with the snap. Hands the ball off to Tony, but he is ridden down and tackled. Right after he got it, and the Alito Westmore offense is stopped shy of the goal line. Green Dragons highlighted by that 59-yard run by Dylan King. Once again, following this game, we'll be going to the matchup between Rockridge and Knoxville, as we'll have our post-game report, and then head to Jim Taylor down in Knoxville. Elmwood Brimfield just took a timeout, and so will we. We'll be right back. Thank you, Bob. And here on the first play, following that exchange of uh, possession. So now it's second down, loss of one on the play. There goes the pitch. And uh, with the carry was, uh, I think, number 24, who we don't have on the uh, roster. So no gain. So on third down. The pitch goes back to the running back, one of the reserves in the game. He hits in the middle of the pile and gets stopped. We'll try to tell you who that is as we're under a minute to go. And Alito Westmer is going to go to 4-1 and 2-0 and and oh in the conference. With a timeout, as there's 20 seconds left to go in the game, we've been on the continuous clock here in this contest. And we'll be going to the Rockridge-Knoxville game when they start the second half down at Knoxville. Clock winding down, and it's going to be a nice victory here tonight for the Alito Westmer Green Dragons as they're going to let the clock wind down, and that is the ball game. Alito Westmer Green Dragons 40, the Oakland Trojans nothing. We'll be back and recap all the action for you after this.